Uh, I'm Graham Wooden. Um, I live in Sinifer in the Forest of Dean. Uh, I've lived in the same house here for 32 years and I've lived in Forest Dean all my life. Um, Forest Dean is a great place to live. Um, unfortunately, there aren't many things to do in the Forest of Dean. Um, what we're trying to do here is to develop something for myself and my family and generations to come um, that provides sports and activity for the family um, and for friends and, and people like that. So it's got things for the children. It's got a, a giant doll's house on three floors, like 25 foot by 22 foot. And it's got garages for the children's electric cars underneath. It's got a play area on the first floor. And on the next floor, it's got a, a train set, 15 foot by nine foot train set. Um, and all of that can be viewed from the viewing galleries so that the, us as parents and grandparents can keep an eye on what the children are doing. Uh, we also have a large soft play area that again is about 25 foot square, I guess, and 18 foot high. Um, and just general play areas for the children. Um, for the adults and the children, we've got the two tennis and bone alleys. Um, we've got the sports hall that triples up for badminton, small tennis, table tennis, indoor football, basketball, disco, whatever. Um, we have the squash court. I'm a national squash, ref squash referee, um, a qualified coach. And what I hope to do, as I've, as I've coached my children, is to coach my grandchildren. And hopefully they'll become better players than us as the years go by. Um, Upstairs, on the one area, we have also um, a general area, uh, which is like a leisure area, where from there you can oversee the sports hall and the children's play areas, and also look down to the squash court. Uh, there's a kitchen there, and also um, Xbox games to play, chess, Monopoly games, that sort of thing. Um, above the Tempe Bowling Alley, we also have two rooms. Uh, the one is set out like a small casino, with three tables and a bar, etc. And then we have the theatre room, um, that's set out for a cinema, um, for um, a theatre as well, so the children can do their own little plays, and also as an indoor golf playing area as well. Um, there's 16 nice leather seats, so it's nice, and nice to watch the films. Um, and overall, it's just a great place to be. It's a fun area, it's just a fun house, really. I spend lots of time with my children and my grandchildren, and they're over every weekend. Um, outside already, we've got lots of things for them to do with trampolines, slides, um, big Wendy houses, a theatre, uh, sorry, an amusement arcade, etc. Um, so there's lots of things for them to do outside, but obviously during the winter when the weather's bad, we need to do something inside. Um, and I've also tried to develop something that as the children get older, they needn't stop coming here. There's so it's something, whatever age they are, they can come and play. And they can bring their friends to play as well. It's all part of, you know, enjoyment of the house, in effect. Um, and with the house, obviously, we've lived here for 32 years, and it's evolved over that period. Um, so I've got, you know, a car showroom, I've got um, an oriental eating house and garden, um, I've got a a hot tub room, etc. All those things are to enjoy the house, basically. Um, we very rarely go out to different places because we don't need to. We've got everything here, really. Um, people come to see us rather than us go out. Um, people say, like, are there any good restaurants around? We say we don't go to many because people come to us. Uh, so it's, it's great fun. Yeah. I don't have a favourite room. The, the favourite thing is going to be seeing the children enjoy themselves. Um, every weekend, virtually, my five grandchildren get together here at the house. Um, and whether it's playing in the house, if it's wet, we play hide and seek or whatever we do. Um, or we play outside, but it's just watching their enjoyment, it's great. And this is going to add to their enjoyment, so, you know, that's what you want to do for your children and grandchildren if you can, isn't it? So, you know, people do that in different ways. I'm lucky enough that I can do it in this way, and where other people, unfortunately, aren't quite as fortunate, maybe.